the freestyle <laughs> by Corey Holcomb and this bitch. Because I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> I don't like your daughter, bitch. Ever since I saw the little hoe, niggas knocking on my motherfucking door. <laughs> Is Trina there? Is she coming out? I say, hey, put that thing in that bitch mouth. I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> Going in my refrigerator. Every nigga that nut in her, somehow they hate her. Oh. Her two kids that she kept because she thought them dudes was going to give her fuck. <laughs> but then they ducked out on her ass. <laughs> fuck that silly slut. Even though that bitch do got a big ass butt. But I won't fuck her though. Because it's your daughter. So get the daughter out of my face before the slaughter. I don't like your daughter, bitch. Oh, I told you he has some shit. That song, yeah. Huh? Did you make that the echo. a complete song? Yeah, yeah. We was just freestyling one day. We on this bitch? But that oh. hook, that hook is um, fire. All right. Uh, made it happen. Yeah, oh my God, these guys are great. See? Y'all gotta be like, and we're up. Uh, Y'all got motherfuckers. Yeah, there you go, motherfucker. Yay. Incredible. What up, y'all? The motherfucking studio flooded. <laughs> we lost equipment. The okay. motherfucking air conditioner unit obviously ain't sealed in the inside mm. so that shit dripped down on everything i'm glad it ain't get the laptop and shit oh yeah I it was mm -hmm. so our shit was fucked up like a motherfucker man <laughs> i got my yeah i got my motherfucking <laughs> cory breeding the bears <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I bought my clothes from the scotsman Right. <laughs> That's an LA joke. Don't nobody do it. No, I read that off the thing. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you do look like one of them motherfucking uh what's that store where they be selling all that outdoorsman type of equipment? Uh, 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 uh turn not turn uh, uh brass pro shops. That <laughs> North Face shopping <laughs> ass nigga. <laughs> you look rugged than a motherfucker. Yeah, anyway, yeah, Corey Hogan yeah. right here, Darlene OGOTs, Craig Fax. And my man, Dewan, he been on the show before. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Dewan made a very interesting post that he put on Facebook. I saw that shit. As soon as I saw him, I was like, yeah, I know what I'm going to talk about when his ass get up here. <laughs> he said, where? Are y'all ready for this? All y'all church folks? Y'all got to listen to this now. He said, where is Christianity mentioned in the Bible? We'll wait. <laughs> I know that shit, it make motherfuckers hey, mad. It made them so mad, and this is what people was doing. They was like, well, in Acts 4.26, it said followers were known as Christians. Look, motherfucker, they ain't talking about the religion itself. It ain't nowhere in the Bible that it say, hey, go to church, pay your little bullshit ass money to the preacher so he can get a Cadillac, and then we gonna solve your problems. The Bible didn't, nigga, Jesus never heard of Christianity. Right. What did it say again in, the, in there where they said Christianity? Somebody said... They said, they said the followers of, were known as Christians. But I'm like... Look, that's, that's hearsay. That's hearsay. Right. It, 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 <laughs> to prove your point, look, I got about 900 followers on Twitter. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And they're officially known as my followers. If somebody come and write a book 300 years from now about DeWan Brown... Are the motherfuckers that's following me called Dewan's tw uh, uh, tweetums? <laughs> Tweetstens? No, them niggas ain't following me for no goddamn religion. They follow me from a bullshit joke I said five years ago. Ain't no like, goddamn religion. They just like the shit you was talking about. One time. Right. So what I'm trying to say to everybody who are deep in church, everything that you know about this so-called religion was taught to you through hearsay. <laughs> it ain't nobody around when that shit was written who can motherfucking verify anything you reading in your English language that was beaten to you. Do anybody want to try to argue this with me? No, there's some good white people out there who might know the answer to this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because that's the motherfuckers that people listen to to, uh... The Caucasian people who teach you about your God <laughs> and their history with you shows that they God ain't fucking with you. <laughs> I ain't fucking with you at all. And, it's, and this, this, the bullshit about it is this. 
Like, people would think it's just, it was just one council of Nicaea. Right. It was three of them hoes spread across 700 years. They had to spread the shit across 700 years because they had to wait for a whole bunch of motherfuckers to die to buy their shit. Right. Because when they came in with the whole Jesus shit in the first ones, the Coptic Christians, the black one was like, man, ain't no, ain't no motherfucker bust up in no Mary. This shit, the fuck? They were like, nigga, we out. They had to wait another 300 years to have a meeting to put their bullshit book together. Right. So and see, a lot of people don't have no idea about that information, or even if it's true, because that's all hearsay, too. The point I'm trying to make is, we all out here on some bullshit trying to motherfucking... There are people of morality who try to do right while they're alive, and there's people who don't give a fuck, who don't give a fuck what they do while they're alive. That's what planet Earth consists of. <laughs> Fuck niggas and people who try to do right. That's about right. That's what? Right. You know what I'm saying? It's like I ain't trying to act like I know all the answers, but my time on this planet, I see fuck niggas and I see motherfuckers who really, you can holler at them and they'll try to do right by you and themselves. It ain't a lot of them. Most people are fuck niggas. You know what I realized was some bullshit, Corey? Because I was born and raised in church. You know what I mean? I played the drums in church up until my 30s. I was you was fucking so many hoes. <laughs> you know, I was going to ask Refresh the Church the full of hoes. When did you start figuring certain things out about you just started where you were going? You know what I'm saying? How people always have that moment where they go, hold up. What's going on here? <laughs> it was a progression because in my teens, like I, I would, in my early 20s, I would literally be in the club mm -hmm. until four in the morning and get to church with my wristband on and play the drums. It was when I what started. What was the wristband for? I didn't mean to throw you off. Oh, okay. You had to oh, okay, 21 okay. over certain places right. and shit. Yeah, yeah. You know how these clubs in LA is? Mm -hmm. So it was like I was playing the drums in church and then I started playing the drums in Hollywood, like mm -hmm. in real drumming. And then like I started that happen when I was 16. And I, when I was 16, I was holy Jesus, all that shit. And, but I was like, hold on, why are the people at the club at the sinners hole on sunset nicer than the people at the church? Mm. And it was like, these motherfuckers in church is mean as shit. Looking at you up and down. And looking at you up and down. Yep. I played the drums at this one church over here, and I was getting ready to play, and a dude was like, hey man, get my snare. I don't want that nigga to play on it. And I'm 15, this is back when I still thought this church shit was real. I had a set the next night uh, at, at the Whiskey in, on Sunset. These motherfuckers let me in and I wasn't 21 and it was nice. I said, you niggas is nicer than the people in church. And that's when I started questioning this shit. And on top of that, church. The drum set. The church the drum has drum been set. overran. Church has been overran. Damn, thanks, Lloyd, for the, for the motherfucking 99 dollars, motherfucking. Uh, but no, church has been overran by the homosexual men. I was looking on. I didn't want to see it, but it's it's so it was. You know what? Listen, I, no, I. You know when you, you know be scrolling on disclaimer. Facebook. Here come the disclaimer. You try not to watch it. You be like, no, that's some whole shit. That's some whole shit. I mean, it was in the feed. It was nothing you went and searched for. It just came. Popped no, it's up nothing on the you feed. search for. It's just like <laughs> a lot of people post shit. Just like the white boy who got smacked with the. Uh, the uh, can. Oh, that shit was funny. Oh, that shit was funny, yeah. that that shit was funny <laughs> than a motherfucker. It was very violent, but it was so funny. It was funny when he man. tried to kick the can, and old boy was like, "Bah!" Nigga, <laughs> 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 like, if you don't shut the fuck, <laughs> then he couldn't fight. He had that slow ass fight. I'm like, nigga, you gonna fuck around, and get killed out here <laughs> talking that shit? But you try not to watch that shit because it's it's bad nutrition for your brain. Right, yeah. right. It's violence. Yeah. Just like I saw the fruit booty nigga playing the organ, shaking his ass. Oh, oh, oh the, yeah, yeah. I said, I, God! I, I tried not to watch that. <laughs> Karen! I was so motherfucking mad, I saw it. I was like, oh, man, this motherfucker here. The dude was playing the drums, and he had like a, a Victoria Cakes booty, and the bass player right behind him kind of humping. Oh, no, oh, I see, no. And that shit would look weird. To I, kept, I saw the shit like 10 times in my time, and I kept scrolling. <laughs> then the 11th time, that shit got me. I'm like, ugh. You go, you go see it. If it's on that shit, I block people <laughs> who post shit like that. Yeah. 
I block people just because you had it on your shit. That means you ain't my kind of motherfucker. Right. I kept getting, because I played the drums in church, so I kept getting tagged by motherfuckers oh, in it. Like, hey, why you see this? Like, no, motherfucker. <laughs> no, Damn. Did you see this shit, D? No, I don't know what y'all better A laughing. fat nigga twerking his ass in church. <laughs> A fat motherfucker got his pants pulled down on purpose. Wait, bear So you butt? see... You see the whole top half of his ass. <laughs> bare ass. Shaking his ass while yeah. he playing the drum. Then he looked back. And the bass player looking down at him. And it, you know you can feel that. Anybody if this was a real church, bear. he yeah. would be stoned outside. Uh, yeah, yeah, because yeah. because my first beef with religion was when one day I was about to go with my grandmother. And she said, uh-oh, okay, I think you can get away with that. And I'm like, what? You know, like, we're, oh. I, I don't know, it's probably about maybe nine. And we walked in the church, and sure enough, one of the sisters said, um, she's going to have to, you know. So my grandma gave me my, what? And put her sweater over me. Now, I know that in certain churches, you know, you're not supposed to wear, like, tank tops and stuff like that, but it was like a cap sleeve. I don't know if you know what a cap sleeve is. Yeah, it's like half. It's, yeah, it's a sleeve, but it covers... And I could not believe that they were tripping. D, was you in church like with that monkey out? Tell the truth. Shush. Oh, never. <laughs> monkey Baptist out. church. Oh, yes, with my grandmother at our Go! church. And everybody, come on, no. But you know, like, let's, <laughs> to talk about stuff like that, a lot of women wear inappropriate things in church because of the way the world is now. Are it. you supposed mm -hmm. to be able to wear stretch pants to church? You shouldn't. You probably shouldn't. You shouldn't. You've got that. Boom, 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 boom. Come on now. You're you're has it with your 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 uh causing the, the lust the 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 the. the it's the really form. me if I if she got stress pants on in church. It's really me that got the fucked up mind. But I hey, how, what's fucked up about it? You I'm, a man. But that's no, it's what not I'm fucked saying. Up, so we don't. Why do we want to? Why do we want to? You know, build that up. Why do we want to work that out for them? We want to. They should. I think you should. I thought I was presentable. Right. I feel what you're saying, yeah. but. I believe that you thought you was presentable. I was nine I believe years old, that. Corey. I'm just saying. You was how like, old? Nine. That oh, was, nine years old? Somebody talk about what you got on? That's what I'm trying to tell you. That was my first experience with them That saying, was a funky bitch. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was a funky bitch that, in church that, starting that we, shit with that people. That we need to cover yeah. up. That's why I was like, wait, what? If and you then when nine. I, right, but that's what I'm saying. They have, they have dress codes. And then even when I went to the Vatican, when I was going to visit, I told you that story. And I have pictures But you was grown then. Yeah. What said, you had on, they wouldn't let you wear. But I Tell had, the truth, D. What you I had on. I have photos of that. I'm sitting out in the front by the fountain because they wouldn't allow me in with the rest of the tour. But I had a, sh a skirt, Michael Jackson flat leather boots, you know, with all the buckles. You had on a skirt? I had a skirt, but How I had... How high was the skirt, dude? I had tights, though, with it. Was it above your knees? I'm going to find that picture. You was you. trying to motherfucking tempt them priests who've been holding oh, it together, <laughs> fucking each other, and you trying to come in there with that monkey out because you was with iced tea. It was, a, it was a hot pink, but still it was not that short to me. Oh. To, what is to you? Was it above I your know, knees? I know, I know. Of course it was. <laughs> well, D, of ain't no telling what you had. Skirt, but I was tripping out. I was like, damn, they're not going to accept my $75. It was for the tour. Oh, 75 again? Yes. Oh, wow. They charged you getting the bad again? Yes. Yes. Hey, man, all that shit a hustle, man. God damn. The oh, motherfuckers be acting like the Pope, good no, people. No, if you want to go on a, yeah, if you want to go on a, a hell of a tour. The Pope yeah. go raw and boys. Hey, he do. That's the prerequisite to become the Pope. It, yeah. You gotta go raw on a boy. Yeah, that's yeah. that's one of the yeah, that's one of the prerequisites. Yeah, uh huh. Multiple boys. They bro. let me in Mussolini's castle. How many boys castle? you got in the castle? They didn't care. What is no. the prerequisite? How many boys you the bust open? <laughs> How many boys you got bow leg out here? <laughs> boy bragging. I, mean, I got like nineteen boys up under me. Right. But, yeah. uh, but I bet you they don't. They tell still them. keep in touch with me. <laughs> <laughs> Nowadays with all the tight pants that all the fellas. Mm -hmm. Are wearing, and I'm talking extremely tight. I've mm -hmm. seen some. Come on, yeah, now. yeah. They let them in. That's the so-called style now, but still, it's like, oof. Yeah, fruit bootyism is not something that they bring up a lot. Some preachers talk about the fruit mm -hmm. booties in the church. Right. Mm -hmm. Some of them can't because they fruit booty. Because they behind them. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and it's like, and the, I, I knew something else was wrong in my teen years when you saw all the youth pastors trying to get all the chicks you trying to get. Oh at. man, uh, like we, you be in youth service at fourteen, and you got to deal with Deacon Fry trying to fuck with the sixteen year olds. You like, what the fuck going on here? That shit remind me of my naive ass baby mama, the first one. This was the dumb. Whoever she fuck with, that's what she claimed. <laughs> She was with some church motherfucker talk see. about, fuck you, Corey, praise God, and all that shit. See. Then she was with see. some gangbanging nigga a month later. Get the oh, fuck no. out of my face, solid, <laughs> fool! 
I was like, you a fucking follower, bitch. Um. <laughs> you a follower, bitch. Whoever you fuck with, that's what you act like. Not, not from God to gangbanger. Jesus. A lot of comics right. are like that, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoever they around, they start acting like that motherfucker. <laughs> yep. Dead ass. They start, they start doing the, all the mannerisms, all that shit. How about that? Yes. Hell yeah, man. Mm. But... Back on this church shit, I want to say to all the people who go to church, I mean, good, I respect you. I have a friend, somebody who I call a friend, and I don't call a lot of motherfuckers mm -hmm. friend. Uh, Craig introduced me to the brother. His name is Moody. Mm -hmm. And when we was up here a couple of weeks ago doing the shit, I kept saying Jesus, and it made Moody uncomfortable. Oh, yeah. So I was like, you know, that that's fair, yeah. because I respect your shit in a way and on top of that, because I feel like he a 100 motherfucker with me, yeah, yeah. I be like, I ain't got to say Jesus, but I'm going to make fun of church. Yeah. It's just he felt like saying Jesus that much took it too far. Oh. So I was like, oh, exactly. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I, was like, oh, I was like, oh, Moody. I was once there, I get it. So can we say damn around him? You can say whatever you want to say around any motherfucker. But I'm saying because he's my friend, yeah. I let him tell me. I mean, when he told me he was uncomfortable with that, it, it made me be like, okay, that's cool. You know that's I, cool. Mm. Right, right. No. I got, you know when I realized the church was really, really a hustle? <clears throat> and I got, it shit cost me $280. I was at church. And this is what I used to tie my, I used to actually, I used to be a tithing motherfucker. I put my money up in a little bucket and shit, be like, okay, I'm a tithe. It's, best, it's blessed to live on a blessed 90 than a bullshit 10, get a church 10%. I was on all that. Whoa. But I was starting to question it because of what I had seen. Mm. And that's the whole big thing about church. Look at this, just look at what go on. I started seeing everything the way it was. And we had this pastor come named Mike Murdoch. Y'all can look up this motherfucker. There's a white dude named Mike Murdoch. He looked like somebody that was Ain't King. nobody of God named Mike Murdoch. Yeah. <laughs> he looked like one of King Arthur's homeboys in Robin Hood. Okay. And so he said, if you come... And if you write a check for two hundred eighty dollars in three months, you are gonna get a blessing that you've never seen. And part of me, I was like, "This is some bullshit," but I was like, "Okay, I'm gonna do it." Really, all of us at one time, we're all gonna receive it in three months. <laughs> I did. You did it. I'm he telling got, you where I once was him. to where I am now. You, I, you I'm not some nigga that was on the periphery. You I believed him. Shit. You were still a virgin when you gave that. Nah, check? I wasn't a virgin. Oh, okay. no, but that's what I'm gonna tell you anything. Hold on, you done done. fucked the bitch and gave a nigga two eighty <laughs> off what he's talking about. He wasn't it yet. I gave him a. I, I, I said I did it, and I, and I went ahead and did it. And nothing came, and I realized, that at that point, I was like, you know what? I was forever done with tithing. I never gave a church of money a, a dime again, but it was super clear. I was like 20. She was super clear. This is some bullshit, because I grew up really <laughs> believing this shit. I really was in church. Like, I, was, yeah. I knew all the songs, all that shit. I tithe at church when I go. I go because I got homies who got church. And they be my friends. Yeah. So I motherfucking, hey, I'm keep, it's like, the, 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 what is it, the three card Molly game? <laughs> I'm the nigga on the side jumping it off, I bet, and then I win. Ha <laughs> ha! Then the next the, motherfucking thing, oh, he go, that's, that's my philosophy. But do you give the proper amount that they're expecting? What is the do, proper amount? No, I don't know. Don't they be one ten percent. Right, don't they have like some, or doesn't some 10 of them? 10 percent what? They say 10% of, of your, in, your, your, your increase. Oh, that means that you're every two weeks, motherfucker, give mm -hmm. me 10% if you want these blessings, nigga. Wait. That's so wrong. That's what so I'm saying. So let me get I this right. <laughs> I keep hearing that. Right. People look you in the eye and say, give me 10% of your money. Nigga, yeah. yes. Dog. <laughs> <laughs> and people do it. I know. And I then, see, I've heard it. I've heard it. I know you heard of that. <laughs> that's right For real. Yeah. No. I, yeah, I, hey, I, man, I ain't mad at them dog. It's a sucker boy every yeah. day. Hey, 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 but thing is, you could be a sucker, but goddamn grow from, Don't be a sucker your whole goddamn life. You see that shit? That was like, didn't nothing happen? I never gave another dime to church again. That, I was, that was the best two of you ever spent. So it's black people out here giving a motherfucker that they ain't even did a background check. I'm going to give you 10% of their money. Nigga, hey. Remember when that show Preachers of L.A. was on? Yeah. Y'all remember that show? I remember it. That show was funny as hell. So me and my wife, I'm done with church by now. So me and the wife are like, we were going to Preachers of L.A. tour. Like, go, let's go to these churches. We went to one of these goddamn churches at Preachers of L.A. And the light-skinned nigga, he looked like Craig. And he was like, y'all remember that light-skinned nigga on Preachers of L.A.? He looked like Craig with a part. She want her beer. He literally said, oh, I'll put he you gave a black. whole story about how he went to Africa, flew first class, but he was tired because he had layovers. He said, and that's why your pastor needs a jet. 
And these You're mother- talking about Creflo. No, no, what, this one Creflo. This was a light skinned nigga. Uh, oh, this is a nigga from, LA. from LA. He from LA. He got a jet. His name was McClendon. I called him Claire's his name. Claire's McClendon. Yeah, McClendon. That was his name. Oh, man. You can walk oh, past I know too shit. much stuff about that. Yeah. One. I know. I don't even want to say. He I did four be, offerings and one of them was for a jet. Oh, girls game some pussy. No. Oh. She actually did not. But the stuff from that guy, those stories back then, I don't want to say the famous girls that got. Mm. He got kicked out of his whole church oh, for, the, for doing that. that. T and Tamara. He got kicked out of his church for what? <laughs> Smashing that pussy. <laughs> Who gonna have a oh church and not God. fuck bitches? There's bitches everywhere in church. <laughs> bitches come to church for refuge. Craig, Craig they pay. Really is some deep shit coming on right here that Craig and D know about and be scared to tell, motherfucker. <laughs> you got one of them lip tonight, Steve? Uh oh. Yeah. Oh, what is that? Mine. Oh, and it was What's froze. froze. No, the Lipton iced tea. Oh, he, like, he didn't hear yeah, you. you I got you, it. Joe. Fuck it. We got people helping us out around this motherfucker. Oh, no, so what happened with the little bitches? Go on, tell it. Y'all scared to tell the story? You thought Craig ain't know this Hollywood. Where? All this shit get out. Well, because it's here. <laughs> it, to me, it's still hearsay. It's hearsay. I, it's hearsay. It was, it was some gossip. It was some hearsay. Oh. super hearsay. Y'all ain't going to talk about it? No, because I don't know. Because it's hearsay? Them. Yeah. You ain't got to say the people's name. You can say the little twin bitches. Oh, my God. The it little was, twin bitches that was on the show. He was fucking the twin bitches. Yeah. Damn. Why wouldn't he be fucking the twin bitches? When you got that money, you fuck all kind of people. Do you know how many people I'd have fucked nobody think I would have ever fucked? There was a lot of people in that When it was underage. Age. Yeah. Ooh, and and he's man. but he's out he's out they got you know how they cancel culture they in the church thing. exists too <laughs> <laughs> i was fucking bad bitches and i had a 01 grand prix supercharged nigga. Hey. them bitches weren't used to that you had a grand prix in 01 yeah when I, that's the first new car i ever bought give it to him he'll hand it to oh him. yeah thank you Abe. sorry a, a 2001 grand prix supercharged that year thought i was fast till i got up at the fast car Man. It, was, it was in 2001? Yeah, I bought oh, it in 2001. That was the first new car I ever bought. I had a little TV deal. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. These, these churches like... Niggas I was never... laughing at me. You bought a grand, bro. <laughs> I was like, nigga, where I'm from? This was the shit. It was, yeah. Hey, Corey, can we call off some bullshit from churches that we done seen? Uh, huh? Can we call off some bullshit from churches that we done seen? I'm going to call out some bullshit. Call out whatever you want to call out, but I'm saying, is it a fact? Yeah. Oh. You can prove it? Yeah. Well, put them old ass niggas on blast. Man, all I know is, it was, I, I used to work at the first AME building uh, over here on uh, Adams and Western. Mm-hmm. And I just saw so much bullshit Ooh. going on between the church itself and the building and the, and the business side of it. Mm-hmm. And it was just, they, they kicked the pastor out the church. Why? And they Because he was pulling some bullshit. I'm not, like the church, what first you AME in L.A., First thing they used to do some dope shit. They used to feed the homeless. They used to do a whole bunch of that's dope exactly shit. Expect, right. But then a new pastor that came in and like the they used to have like a whole parking lot on a bike giveaway. Now all of a sudden there's two goddamn backpacks and it's over with. Right. So they kicked the nigga out. Right, right. And this shit was in the LA Times. Y'all can look this up. This ain't no goddamn nothing. That, yeah, right. you can prove it up. LA Times, 2012. Look it up. First day me church. They found out this motherfucker was making like a half million dollars a year and mm-hmm. stealing from the church. Oh, wow. Nigga, the church had a goddamn home in View Park and he bought a different one in Encino. Right. And with his, all with the church's money doing shit like that. Now, this Wait, one I was still in church. What is the church's money? I don't understand. That's what, maybe y'all can help me. That's all the, the people's money, money. The pimp capes that a prostitute makes from her pussy. Thank you, Greg. Will you please say what the church money is again? That's all the money a pimp, pimp keeps. Uh, from a prostitute selling her pussy. <laughs> Just because you believe mm-hmm. don't mean that you're right. Because it's a belief. My belief is that men who put their dick in another man's ass is bad for the planet. It's bad for the ass. I mean, what are you doing in your ass? Well, yeah, the ass. That is an exit. That is an exit. <laughs> well, the pussy an exit too. But you didn't put your tongue all in them, motherfucker. <laughs> but no damn face in the pussy. Man. Right. But a man who put his dick in another man's ass 
It's not nobody I want around my family, <laughs> in my family, or to get comfortable with to ride in the car by myself with. Uh, hey. If I know you put, if you a man, and I know you put other men dicks in your ass, or you put your dick in a man ass, I'm not comfortable getting in a car and it's just me and you. <laughs> I'm sure I done rode with some niggas <laughs> didn't that know. I didn't know. Have I ever rode somewhere with an openly gay motherfucker? I'm talking about an open, I'm, when I say gay, I'm talking about a man who put his dick in another man's ass or allowed dick in his ass. Like a Dem real sissy. You, you right. Say. Okay, yeah. Can you ride in a car with them where it's yard to and still, is that, is that, what is that? Is that cool? It, it ain't normal to just be, uh. Because we was at the funeral yeah, one day. Normal. I was at the funeral for a family member and. A dead gay family member? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> The gay motherfucker was alive. And it was like, to get through the cemetery was a long little walk. And they was like, I had to sit next to the gay dude. Mm -hmm. I walked. <laughs> I was like, I ain't sitting next to that nigga. That nigga openly gay. Oh my God, how old were you, Corey? I was a man. <laughs> I wasn't, I wasn't, I'm not saying that these people uh, should be I'm just trying to say. No, I, no, I hear you. Like when I first really got into music, and when you fuck up, him. when you fuck up, you gotta say it because it's a, it's a, it's you a, to. it's a gay dude. One day I zipped up the back of his dress. <laughs> he don't know the story about the Blanche. Nigga, he know, he ain't know. no Blanche. Right, I'm I'm not not right. No, I, but see, I admit my shit. I don't give a fuck. I was trying to be cool because I was like, here, yeah, nigga, yeah. And I talked to him. Oh, flame, okay. <laughs> flame, he already said that we're about to go on and do a show. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. I fucked up. I played myself. <laughs> said I, fucked up. I fucked up. I played myself. <laughs> flame the homie, because he is very open with what he do and how he live. Yeah. But I never zip his dress up. He had to go on stage with that motherfucker open now. <laughs> we were just in a competition. Right, right. I was so good, I felt bad. I was like, let me help you. Have a chance to win. Well, whatever my excuse is. But I'm just saying, I don't, I'm uncomfortable around men who I know would like to be with me in any way. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I hear that. Are you saying so you're just assuming that any gay though guy around you would be. No, that's what stuff that they teach you to say, D. Oh, stop. Mm -hmm. They I'm try to make it seem like you just. No, so I'm... if anybody, is, let me tell you something. If I know you fuck men, I'm <laughs> not comfortable with you. Especially alone. I don't act funny with you. One day we was in front of the improv when the world was back regular. We were sitting up there talking. We kicking with the sissies. I ain't even gonna lie. When oh I was coming up, God. the sissies, you couldn't even kick it with niggas. Niggas used to jump on sissies. Yeah. When I was growing up, mm -hmm. I ain't saying I did it, but niggas used to be like, hey, it's a fag, beat his ass. <laughs> niggas just beat your ass for being a fag. But I'm older now. So I'm sitting down in the improv, we cracking jokes and shit with a nigga who was dressed like a, a girl. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, do, yeah, I, I talk about... do I act funny with niggas? We no, was all kicking it. And, but... the and the motherfucker came and talked to you, you have a normal conversation, like, yeah, cool. Night, but... but if it was the end of the night and everybody started to clear out, I'm not going to be the last one out there no. talking to him. No. <laughs> be like, oh shit, niggas is starting to leave. Let me yeah, get it's time to go. away from this yeah. nigga. Oh, ain't no jokes out here after that. Yeah. Yeah. So stupid. I love it. There ain't no jokes out here after that. It's time I to go. I can picture that though, but I can see it. No, I know. I, 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 I have said know. this to Darlene yeah. before, and I know she get mad. And she I don't get mad. D, I believe you've been with a woman before. No, I believe it. This is L.A. Almost no, all the women out here have been with a woman not. before. Absolutely not. I put that on my, who? give me something that, you know, on my life. May God strike me down right now. You right ain't now, right. never, never, never met a woman touch. Nope, nope, no interest, no nothing, no curiosity, nothing, never. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. No, sorry, Bob. Mm -mm. No. Really? Really? Swear to God, on everything I own, love, my life, I'll put that even on my kid's life if you want, just so you can believe, because there's but no way I can. Uh, am I missing what I'm supposed to say? 
any intimate moments with a woman, no, you never ew, had one. No, no, why? No, I'm not interested. No, never. Not even by accident, not by curiosity, not young, old, That's nothing. That's amazing. How is that amazing? Because this is Los Angeles, but California. They, These bitches out here eat pussy. What, what is there to say that? about that? I, I don't... You got gay friends. I'm talking about gay... I'm talking about you. I know. You, okay, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They your peoples. Yeah. You done claimed them. So, but sex isn't all the whole thing, Corey. No, what so are we you're losing a, then? You're a guy. No, don't lose that. You're a guy. So I know that that hits you different. But yeah. being around gays, whether it's a lesbian or a gay guy, it's not all about like, oh, sex, sex, sex. We're all talking about sex and horniness and people talking about what they it do. Ain't about it. They're about... just another human being, but that's just their get down. I understand. But what I'm saying is if, if people who you have claimed to be your dear friend right. are gay women. Right. What y'all do if you ain't sucking pussy <laughs> with them? They're just another person like a friend, like you and Craig. Craig, I ain't never seen Craig do no homosexual no, shit. No. But exactly. I'm just keeping it real, because if he did, I'd say it and lose my friendship. Because you know I'd be losing friendships on this and show. this is what I'm trying to tell you, that they are around me. It's not all about because they are that part of them, that they're going to continually just be out there about sex, talking about it, acting about it, playing about it. No, they're just another human being. It's another girl. If we all had like a, a party for someone, it's not like she's going to be over there going, mm, okay, checking everybody out, wanting to hit on people. No, she's enjoying the party like anybody else. It's just that that's her preference. Mm. And if so, if that, that's disrespectful to me because I have been, I've had had those moments, but it wasn't with a friend. It was somebody that was trying to say, oh, I can convert you know, people, I can get them to swing my way. Ooh, everybody was all turned off, but this woman was saying that she, that's her thing, that she likes to try and challenge. I was like, well, don't come over here and play with that mess. That's disrespectful. Somebody tells you, that's like when you were to tell a guy. I said, no, don't, don't ever come around. And no, then niggas I had, fight. Right, but that's what I'm saying. I, I, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, 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 I yeah. didn't, fight. thank God I didn't see her in person. This was all on the internet. And I said, okay, well, I'm gonna have to block you now. And it was a person that I knew from somebody else, didn't know well, but they thought that that was cute. It's like, no, you, you don't play with that with me. I'm not, this is not, I'm not about You be this. checking them hoes when they be well, trying to get Well, hell yeah. It's the same thing. Yeah, it's the you same thing. You know, one of the dope part about living in L.A., growing up in L.A. is we got West Hollywood in this motherfucker. Oh. So all the sissies know if you want to do some sissy shit, take your ass to the Michael Boulevard. Mm. We on Crenshaw right now, homie. We ain't got time for that shit. You know what I mean? We was, we was growing up in L.A. We like, no, no, we on, nigga, we on Slauson right now, goddammit. We on Western. Mm. You go to Santa Monica between La Cienega and San Vicente. It's actually, and you can do, it's, it's And honest. they respectful. Yeah. They don't, like, for the most part, growing up in L.A., they didn't come to us and try to put that shit on us. It's they, a lot like, of American me-ass niggas out here, dog. But they knew where to go with it. <laughs> exactly. They didn't do it in front of us. Right. That's all I'm saying. That, that's a whole bunch of download dance, like, you heard about Lamert Park at, after midnight, you know, mm -hmm. you see certain, it's certain little activities that go on over there. The right, right. But they know how to segregate themselves. Nigga, we and on now, Florence. We on from, fucking men. Don't come over here. there, around the early, like, mid-80s, and then at that point was when the rags came into play. Yeah. And you remember that whole list? I still have one, the list of the rags and what it meant. So that would actually give people the notion, because now you can talk about being, you know, people can be open about it now. Well, back then, that's when they had that whole get down of figuring out what it meant. So where you hung the rag, all that stuff. I forget, yeah, they did have that. Yeah. That? Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah, they did have that whole little rag thing. Mm -hmm. And the earring thing, too. Everything. If the earring was on a certain side. Yeah, really? First, yep. Oh, yeah. See, it I don't like, know nothing about it. L.A. got too many gang signs, if you ask me. Like, if you wear certain shit. We used to iron our shirt in the middle just for motherfucking fashion. Out here, I heard that's gangbanging shit. It look, it, look, LA is a different city every three, four blocks. <laughs> it's, it, I, I never, There's I never iron heard, fags out here. Oh my god! I never, I never heard of that never one. Never either. Right I know. Somebody Hold on, you ain't never heard if you iron, if you put a crease in your shirt, ain't that gang shit nah, out here? Somebody nah. fucked. Somebody, pants somebody in thought our shirt. how gullible yeah, he was yeah, about that. Yeah. Nah, That'd shirts. Nah, nah. nah. <laughs> Some nigga said something to me about wearing purple. Well, well, the middle, oh, yeah, well, yeah, depending on where you are, that if you're on the 103rd, yeah. then it might be a problem. If that's you're on the 30, yeah, it might be a problem. Isn't that crazy? God damn it, I got to wear my purple on La Brea. <laughs> you're on La Brea, you, you cool with purple on La Brea, right. but if you're over there on that side of town, yeah. yeah, it might be a little bit different. But yeah. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Motherfuckers be putting me. See, because I'm a motherfucker that people feel like, that's Corey. You know what I'm saying? Right. He don't know. Hey, homie. 
You can't wear that shit over don't here. Wear don't wear Mariners hat. Okay, we we gang banging over here, nigga. Don't wear that say, shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right. It's only one hat safe in LA. You, you wear a Dodgers hat. If you have, you can wear a Dodgers hat anywhere. But anything other than that, the team, he, uh, Astros, all that, yeah, don't. Do I had a Chicago hat on with the C. And I was going to some yeah, motherfucking. Um, that might be a problem. Yeah, this nigga acting like yeah. I was gang banging and shit. I was <laughs> like, what? Gang banging, but you ain't. I had gang. his gang banging. To see me, but mean, he didn't know. So all you have to say is no. This was one of them um 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 Ponzi schemes meetings I was going to. It was a big booty bitch I was fucking with, and she had me go to this little you know the shit where they try to sign you up. And the nigga at the door wouldn't let me in talking. He acted like I was gang banging. I was like, what are you talking about, nigga? Oh man, y'all yeah, motherfuckers! I'm trying to y'all. Ain't y'all here to make money? You can't wear you can't, like you cannot wear like the, the the black clubs in Hollywood. Ain't no black clubs on Black Night. They don't let you wear baseball caps because for that specific reason, people from our town get offended. But it's like, no, it's probably for your own safety. Yeah. So Zo can't go to no club. <laughs> Now it's gotten a lot different, no, but I'm back in those days, like when they had that, uh, when they had World on Wheels, because I remember Ooh, yeah. I had pictures in the video from that night, but they they. It was awful. We used to get shot up on gospel night at World of Wheels. showed up with the red uh, Angora Kango. Oh, it was on. It was like, it I had a red Kango on the other day. Yeah, but that was in the 80s. No, no, back in the 90s, somebody from my church got beat up on gospel night for wearing a, a, a baseball cap to word on wheels. Like, for real, he wore the wrong yeah. hat to word on wheels and he got beat up on gospel one. night. He wore the wrong one. <laughs> he got yeah. sanctified yeah. ass. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 Crazy. Kid that's but fucked anyway. up. Niggas will flood your ass over some shit. They know you ain't even home. Man. But they didn't know. They were like, oh, everybody had to tell him, like, look, he's from New York. He don't know. And that happened. Yeah, they, if they, <laughs> they, they, they see you not from here, they, they will. Be like, look, man, I'm sorry, man, my bad. I'm, I don't, I don't gangbang. This is fashion. My bad. And then that's it. They'll give you pass unless you run into some loony, you know. Some loony? What, yeah. what I'm saying, like, I was up on Melrose. This was probably about a couple of months ago. Oh, they just wanted, they just, yeah. That's what No, them motherfuckers was out there begging. But they still was like, because I had on something that was red or something mm -hmm. like that. And they was like, what they say that nigga was, um, what's the word they used? I forgot. One of them said, man, that nigga over there whoop de wooing. I was like. Oh, uh, uh, Sue Whooping? Not Sue no, no, Whooping. No. He said, uh, he said the nigga, was it, was it, was the I nigga dripping or some, some shit? Oh, uh. I don't know what he said, but anyway, I knew it was some gang it's shit. It's funny you bring up Melrose, though, because the up. funny thing about L.A., the place where you go mostly get got, people think you're going to get got going down Normandy. Mm -mm, no, 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 no. It's going to be on Melrose. It's going to be on Hollywood Boulevard. Why? Because that's where they know all the suckers is walking and they ain't from here. And then what happens is people from different neighborhoods, they figure, I'm in Hollywood. Mm. I'm going to let my guard down. But you don't know mm. the hottest nights the, as far as promoters going to clubs, the hottest promoters is ex-gang members. Oh, and current gang members is they little sub promoters. And so mm -hmm. you get people from Riverside, from other parts of town, come down. They think, I'm in Hollywood, I'm safe. But Hollywood is where cats get got. It was a cat that got shot in front of Sugar. The motherfucker hopped out of a Phantom in 2009 and sprayed the whole front of the club, drove yeah, off. I remember that. Mm -hmm. You remember that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like Hollywood is probably the most dangerous spot out here. Not so mm -hmm. much. The one, of my, one of my homies. Uh, night, the chicken and, and, or what's name got shot in the butt? What's his name? At a who got shot in there? Running away. Everybody was running. Oh, you talking about the, uh, Garden Eden? No, at the no, not Garden Eden. It was on uh, Sunset Boulevard next to Pink. It's Pink Taco now. Oh, you oh. talking about Miyagi's? Miyagi's. And that, man, yes, he was yes, running yes, up. Yes. I forget what promoter that was, but they shot him. And he ended up getting hit in the butt cheek. <laughs> <laughs> that's where it pops, Sunset. Yeah. There's a lot of meat in the ass part. Of, that's ooh, that's awesome. So that's that's a good place to get me. shot if you're gonna no, get shot. How, you gotta heal on you're your shot stomach. in the ass. No, but it's you a lot can't of meat. Sit. Yeah, but you can't sit. How you gonna heal? You gotta be laying down. You be up bitches' houses laying down for a couple of Lay months. Get that side pussy. Huh? Oh, oh, get that side oh, pussy. Oh, you know? oh, <laughs> oh, I don't think you can do that. Okay. That sounds painful. With a big hole on your butt cheek? No. <laughs> No. Trust me, you get shot in the ass, cheek. That bullet got a lot of motherfucking tissue to go through. <laughs> you don't want to get shot in the asshole. Because uh, some of these niggas, if they get shot in the asshole, that shit going straight to their heart. Be, yeah, they yeah. ass already blew out. <laughs> it was meant to be. <laughs> you think? That shit come out their mouth. Oh, they get shot in the asshole. Yeah. Some of these niggas, yeah. like, nigga, that ain't, I ain't even dead. Yeah. All that shit been blew out. All that. <laughs> 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 I can't even think of that. Hell no. Uh, no, but look, man, it's this it's this little quarterback nigga who played for the 
Washington Redskins. All you people who ain't into sports, there was a young black quarterback who played for the Washington Redskins, and he was let go yesterday. Um, I know he was at a strip club with no mask yeah. on um, maybe a week or so ago. Wow. And um, um, we don't really know about a lot of details about what happens with him, but I don't hear about quarterbacks getting let go before the last game of the season. Yeah, that's wild. Like, that's wait, what is him, that? Wait, so they didn't let him play that game or they actually let him go from the team? They actually needed a quarterback, but there's something going on with this 22-year-old young man. Gaskins, right? Yeah, Gaskins. Right. But they let him go the last game of the season. <clears throat> and that's because they believe that the other boy going to play. Right. The uh, What is his name? Uh, the little white boy who almost died from a leg injury. Not cousins. Uh, no, it's a, it's a it's a white quarterback. He uh, he got Kansas City. Let him go when they got Mahomes. <laughs> Alex Smith. Alex Smith. Right, Smith. <laughs> yeah, he did not want that. They just told him, look, we don't need you no more when they got Patrick Mahomes. But anyway, I was I felt like that was scandalous because, yo, who does that? So y'all can't let this nigga play the last game of the season on a team that ain't shit anyway. But you got all these unmaskers out here tripping in stores and coffee shops and all that, really? I'm saying, like, what did he do on this team they should be that made y'all <clears throat> make his career harder to move on? Because, you know, when they let you go the last game of the season, yeah. how you going to get another job? That's right. a fuck you right there. Damn, right. That's messed up. That was almost Damn. planned. That was almost they were looking for. Yeah. Maybe it's, look into who took them to that strip club, too. It might have been planned. Mm. Somebody said he was a bum. Oh, no. He young. The NFL. That nigga was trash. Oh, oh, <laughs> he won terrible. some games. He won more games than that boy in Philly. Somebody said he was late to practice all the time, too. Maybe he was just oh, one of those bad Jay players. Cutler was trash and played for like 15 years. Like, right. They don't let black quarterbacks No, the boy in trash. Philly ain't won shit. Yeah. The team excels when he is replaced mm -hmm. every time. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about that. The, what is the white boy name in Philly? Um. Um, Wentz or not Wentz? Wentz. Wentz, yeah. Carson Wentz. Wentz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This motherfucker don't win shit and said, if I'm not the starter, then I don't want to be here. They didn't let him go. Mm. Did the boy Gaskins do something worse than that? Nah, hell. Because that's, that's like, fuck the team. Mm -hmm. What old boy said. Because mm -hmm. I want to let you know, it's going to be a whole bunch of motherfuckers out here talking shit about Gaskins. The nigga, it's a nigga on TV, his name is Booger. It's a black man who does Monday Night Football. His name is Booger. What? Yeah, black man. Booger McFarlane? Oh, yeah. Booger McFarlane. Booger, Booger McFarlane. When you see him, you know why his name Booger. This yeah. nigga can't get no hoes without paper. <laughs> Booger. He can't get no hoes without paper. Yeah. I'm telling you, this nigga is challenged face. Face is challenged. Now I gotta look him up. And he was shitting on Haskins. But I watch what they say about this boy Carson Wentz. I'm like, in this day and time, are you really too scared to say what's really happening on these sports shows? Is it really like you just can't have a job if you say what's obvious? The white quarterbacks get a pass, and the black quarterbacks are treated like. You can get the fuck out if you go to the strip club with a mask on. <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> That's why, like, I, I don't even watch them sports shows because it's like in order to get a sports show job, you got to sign your contract with your tongue on Master's boot in order to even get the motherfucking job. They got to know you're going to do whatever the fuck they say and say however they're going to say it. I don't even watch football no more like that because of that. You see how white quarterbacks are treated versus black quarterbacks. Going way back to Jamarcus Russell with the Raiders, it's like, yeah, the nigga was trash, but the nigga only got one year? Like, first pick of the draft, usually at least two or three years of figuring This is the out. point I'm trying to make. Like, this boy Haskins was, if they kick you off the team the last game of the That's year, the, how you going to get another job in the NFL? You ain't. Third string, maybe. Mm. Who going to take a chance with you if the team kick you off? They say, get the fuck out. We, we got one more game in this fucking year full of motherfucking sickness 
<laughs> and games getting canceled and everything. Yeah. This is the point I'm trying to make, man. It's like, I can't really watch nothing much on TV but sports shows because this is what I can relate to. Mm -hmm. But the niggas don't even, I'm talking about the black, I'm sorry, let me make sure I get this right. The black men on ESPN, Fox, and other sports shows always talk bad on the black quarterbacks, but never really talk bad about the Caucasian quarterbacks because Carson Wentz is selfish and trash. And you will never hear nobody say nothing like that. You will hear them, oh, well, he's got to do this, he's got to do that. A team won a Super Bowl when he got hurt with a trash quarterback. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about this motherfucker ain't even good. Yeah. Old boy got so much money from winning, he won MVP in a Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. This quarterback played for the Bears right now and lost his job to a motherfucker who can't do nothing but run. The Bears got a running back quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I, think, I think people need to be braver in the in the, you people who get jobs on Sports Center and things like that, you have to you have to speak up. D just looked up the man. Booger. He just looks like he has a, a fake prosthetic. What are those bald things that they use in the movies? Mm -hmm. He look like he got fake ball head. Yeah, like, he's, got, he's got like a. I ain't never heard that one. Yeah. Right, he yeah, got a ball. He really got a fro, but he put that shit on his head. He got a frown that goes all the way around. He look like a a black cop. Ooh, like he just he, he do he a sergeant black. Right, like ready to retire, but still fucking up niggas. Right, if he, if he don't smile, yeah, he's yeah. He's, yeah. But Corey, it's the same way with basketball coverage. If you notice. They can analyze, if it's a black player from America, they can cut his game any which way, however it is. But if it's a Euro, they don't say nothing bad about the motherfucker's game mm. at all. Mm. They, they said the white boy who play in Dallas, who is a good player, he, good. he is a good player, they say he's on track to win the MVP this year and it wasn't number one game play. <laughs> no, they said that shit at halftime. <laughs> he came in, he came in, Two donuts shorter than me of being fat. They didn't say nothing about that, but they criticized James Harden. And this motherfucker, Luca, got a dumbed down version of James Harden game. But James Harden do look fat. Now he looked like me out there hoping, dog. <laughs> Dead and he had a gut. When his jersey be tucked <laughs> in, you be like, what the fuck you been doing? You been laying up, eating wings, fucking hoes, nigga. But Luca came in looking like a bearded marshmallow. Niggas wasn't saying shit. I I but I just I mean Kevin Durant should be on track to win the MVP yes. if you're going to say something about what's happened so far. Right. But they want to give it to Luca because they're going to make him the Larry Bird, the white boy who can play, but they're going to act like he's above everything else. Yeah. And that's terrible. Yeah. I agree with you, you know what I'm saying? Because we peep it, and nobody says this. One day Isaiah Thomas said, if Larry Bird was a black player, he'll be just another player in the league. I remember that. And they that. made him apologize. And not only he, he said that shit 30 years ago, and they still making his ass apologize for it if you want to get a little TV gig. Yeah, but he get them TV gigs, yeah. them coaching gigs and everything. Well, I believe Isaiah Thomas is a homosexual I, man, <laughs> so that helps him. You plug for real. When he kissed, hey, when magic, he kissed magic man. in front of everybody, man. that so-called cheek kiss, that was a lip kiss. <laughs> They bust, they they bust, they bump lips in front of yeah, the nation. Yeah, yeah. I was a little kid and thought that shit was weird. I was eight, like magic. You're like what? I like when magic. You Why did TV? magic just kiss him? I was like eight. I was the biggest magic fan. Like what the fuck just happened? Come on, man. You already know magic was motherfucking. Um, man, look. First of all, they sons give them away. <laughs> gay men make gay sons, <laughs> and nobody says that. I'm not a scientist, but. <laughs> Gay men make gay, 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 gay son. Who you know that's gay that got a straight son? Oh, wait. Tell me a man who's gay and his son ain't gay. Yeah, wait. Like, we had this gay, this gay son due to the church, and he had a son. Yeah, even when he cried, he stuck his booty up. And he was only like three, so you knew, yeah. 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 I watch gay men sons all the time. I be like, that's another fruit booty. Yeah, shit, he watch them all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever a gay man be like, this is my son. You know, in Hollywood, it's a lot of guys who don't claim gay, yeah. but they gay. Yeah. And you be knowing. And then they bring their son. I remember one time I was on this uh, uh, a TV show set, 
And this is a dude, I knew he was gay. Oh, that's, man, get your ass out of here. trying to hide it. <laughs> when he came up there with his son, I was like, yeah, yeah, I see it. Yeah, that boy <laughs> make bath water hot. Oh, wow. Flaming. Bath water hot. That boy make bath water hot. <laughs> that boy flaming right there, boy. That boy. But these are all my philosophies. You know what I mean? Marvin but, Gaye, that's the example. What about him? Yeah. His he, daddy was gay as a motherfucker. He did. Hey, Marvin, yeah, his daddy was gay as a motherfucker. You see the footage online, right? Look at Dwayne Wade. Oh, yeah. Nobody has the courage to. You, Dwayne Wade is letting his son take all the heat. When you look at Dwayne Wade, one of the best players in the history of the NBA, yeah. like at the two spot, he top five. Yeah, easy. I got him number three. I got him number three. Right, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. This motherfucker, but this motherfucker got that shit where you be watching him, you be like, yeah, nigga. Yeah. Yeah, nigga. You ain't fooling me, nigga. And you you let your son come out and take all the heat. Why you ain't standing by your son and say, we fuck a nigga here once in a while? Bruce, Bruce <laughs> Jenner, too. Bruce, Bruce Jenner? Jenner? Yeah. His sons ain't gay. Oh, Bruce that's Jenner? True. That is true. You say, wait a minute, who is Marvin Gaye's son? No, no, no. Marvin, Marvin Gaye's dad. Father. Marvin Gaye's father was, was gay. Not. He was a cross dresser. His name was Gay. <laughs> it, 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 it was spelled with an E at the end. The E make it not gay? No, but, <laughs> no, but it's not the same as the word gay. Marvin put the E on at the end as, oh. as an adult yeah. because he, he didn't like being called G A Y, so he put the E on to make it's it seem better. Say, but I'm gay. Because he knew his daddy I'm wore gay. lingerie. <laughs> I'm gay. He's from Canada. I'm gay. He's from South Dakota. I don't know. I'm gay. Gay. <laughs> <laughs> Marvin Gaye was gay. Marvin Gaye's dad was gay. Yeah. Gay. No, but you said, did y'all come up with a dude who got Bruce Jenner? Bruce Jenner got and his Marvin Gaye. Marvin Gaye's father. Bruce, I don't understand. Marvin Gaye's father's gay. He's not gay. Wait, Marvin Gaye's father is gay? Yes, and Marvin Gaye. Marvin Gaye wasn't gay? I nah. didn't think he was gay either. This one right here. What? Yeah. Are y'all talking about the singer Marvin yeah. Gaye? Yeah, uh -huh. he wasn't gay. You're you talking about the nigga that said, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, get the fuck out of here, man. Y'all niggas crazy. I think because of that look and everything in the 70s, a lot of people were kind of like, but yeah. it's not. It was. I think it was just a look. You think, you think Marvin Gaye was gay? Oh, I'm saying oh a lot my of God, are y'all blind? Have you like, seen the footage of him and his father talking online? You need a nigga that shot him? Yes, the nigga that killed him. <laughs> Watch that footage, bro. Okay. <laughs> Crazy. You gonna give me that ass? <laughs> oh. <laughs> y'all say Marvin Gaye was not gay. No. Are y'all fucking crazy, no. man? What the fuck is no. wrong with him? I don't those, even know his father. He had all those women and, and just... So did Teddy Pendergrass. Yeah. Hey, but Teddy P didn't know that was a tranny. He didn't That's know that. That's true. Do you see the documentary? Yeah, he don't know. Do you it was on Showtime. Oh, he you said the, the, the person. The, what funny. Teddy Pendergrass say? No, no, not Teddy P. The, the tranny When himself. the gay nigga touches his balls with his dick. The dude, you know what Teddy Pendergrass said? <laughs> you keep taking this. Hiya. You can't get it. Hiya. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I, I saw that documentary on Showtime, and the, and the, the transvestite said that Teddy P didn't know that that she was really a man. That because the tranny still alive, and he said, "Oh no, he the didn't tranny know. said at the end what he was." No, he you talking about that latest documentary with, right. with Teddy Pendergrass? Yeah, but he said Teddy, he didn't tell they Teddy. They asked him, was he a man? He said, I identify as a man. So that motherfucker was a woman-looking man. He but was. did you see that? You know, he, he, that's an ugly motherfucker. But said, he said Teddy wasn't aware that that was a man. That, How that, do you don't know a that's motherfucker? What that's what I'm thinking. Man, he, I hate when people make excuses. Any, let me tell you something. Him. A heterosexual man, not only, not only... Fucks, you take joy in looking at your woman pussy. Definitely. It's girls today. I miss they pussy looking at it. Hey. I just used to like them like that. <laughs> That's heterosexual shit. How you be around a motherfucker and don't know it's a man? I like, want to see your pussy after I yet. talk to you for five minutes. He wasn't with her he yet. He said he, they he, he remember. They were driving. They was on the way. 
Get the fuck out of here. He I don't want to hear that shit. He was getting he hit in the car. I just picked him up that night. Who you run? Who you think you're talking to, nigga? I'm from the motherfucking streets, Of course, streets, cause nigga. he knows his word is bond. I that's right. I forgot. Corey is of all. If I'm in the it. car with if a nigga says, and I'm in an accident with a nigga and the nigga a fag, I'm not. I'm gonna come up with some better <laughs> shit. I'm gonna come up with some better shit, Dan. I just picked him up today. I didn't mean. know the nigga was. I'm gonna have some better shit than that. You can't think I'm straight. I'm gonna be with like this neck. nigga was finna shoot me. Yeah. <laughs> this motherfucker yeah. can't think straight with a broke, broke neck. neck. You, you, heard, you, heard, you heard how he talked after he uh, had the little neck thing. That song, John. You know, that shit wasn't thinking. That nigga wasn't thinking right. That was a way different Teddy B than the one I came up with. John, the nigga was different when he had his neck broke. He just probably couldn't come up with a good excuse. All homosexual singers got password songs. You don't get it. It's for the community. <laughs> right. Joy. Joy and pain. That's what homosexuals do. Joy and pain. And names do too. Koi Ri. <laughs> oh. <laughs> D get mad when you talk about gay shit. No, I don't. Tell you, D, D. I love when he Corey. says that. Like he says, Corey. D gets on mad. No, I don't. Do I even look mad? No. You, yes, you do. That's no, why you said that. No, I don't. I love messing you back with You used to hang know. with a bunch of dykes, and you say you won one. I don't know where you're getting any of this stuff from. He just wants so bad to just throw some something, anything at me. It's okay. What? It's I'm not okay. throwing nothing at you. I know you it's fuck okay, with Corey. men, but I'm saying. But I don't understand. He's been doing this to me for 10 years where he just wants to. Like, it's almost like his wish. It's almost like, what does he think one day? I'm going to be like, okay, Corey, I'm ready for that. Here you go. And you can watch. I mean, I don't get it. Like, why does he keep bringing that up? Because it's so not. It's, I've never been interested in that. It's never happened. It's never going to go down. I'm not into women. That's such a turnoff to me. Yeah. And stop. Anyway, stop gay niggas got what, password whatever songs. Whatever woman he's trying to push for, because somebody's probably telling him something. Because I'm like, why are you keep bringing that Nobody's up? Nobody's telling me something. I watch the people who you claim what? as what you friends. Claim? So because, so because they're funny style, <laughs> or you think that about them, you think that about me? No, I'm saying like, D, what I'm trying to say is, if you hang with women who eat pussy, <laughs> what but, you do, watch the persons while they go eat but pussy? But I just <laughs> explained to you earlier today, it's not like that. It's not like you're just sitting around being all about that. It's not all about how they get down in their sexual encounter and myself. So it's, it's, it's his brain. It's just like his, see, it's like a sickness. It's like, does he sit around all day? All I did was ask. Think, but you do it all the time. It's been 10 years. You do it on a continual basis. That and the journey. You talk about the tanks. You said the... Tina Marie was your best friend. She's a great friend of mine. Tina, Tina Marie was a close a, friend of yours. a very close friend of mine. And not once did I ever, none of that stuff. Everybody has their own <laughs> Tina? cakes. Tina? Not once did I ever, yeah, I wrote song with her and everything. Really good friend of mine. Hey, Tina right. Marie. Yeah. Okay. We all know. <laughs> <laughs> Tina Marie could have opened the Taco Bell. Damn. Oh, I'm not damn. even going there. I'm not even going there with it because she never, nobody ever came out. She never said anything like that. It was. You don't know nothing about that? I would rather not even say, but I don't know. Well, it's that's not like what I'm, I'm talking because about. Because I don't put people's personal business out there if they, yeah. didn't, talk about it, they didn't throw it. I'm not going to do that. You, on the other hand, do do that to people. What do I do? You'll just speculate and say all kinds of stuff and oh, you speculate on stuff. Yeah, but I don't continually promote or push it or have it bother me. So you just speculate you, sometimes. No, you continually say <laughs> and you stick with it and say so and so is gay, not he could be or they might or whatever. It's Who such, did I say is gay for show? Sure. It's such a big deal to you to prove that someone is. And it's Who did funny. I say that's gay for sure? Oh my God. Let's just see if we can get the list together. And then you'll say, and then we'll say, wait though, wait though, we'll get it, we'll get it together. And then, then we'll say, well, how do you know? And it'll either be, oh, some person told him in a bar or some group. Or some, do some, I do that? Do yeah! I, 
<laughs> now tell me, I said so and so said you this. You did. You said you overheard somebody, or it was a girl that you were with, or somebody in a bar. There was when? some sort of show me. It's on the show. You okay, if I time. said that, okay, but show me. And you'll say because how somebody talks or walks or dresses or something that they did that in your I mind. I do that. See, you do it. he does it. Thank you. He but does never it wear all dresses. The time. Right. If you wear, if you wear dresses, right. Yeah, yeah. Marvin right. gave fruity than a motherfucker. <laughs> I look at them pictures of him see, back in the day. There we go. He'll look at the I'll pictures. I'll be like, that. See? Hold on, nigga. Just like I didn't when I was young. James I didn't Brown. know this. I don't know about James Brown. No, nigga, I got uh, Luther Vandross. But if oh, that's yeah. the case, just because James you're wait yeah. though. If that's the case though, just because <laughs> Who? you're big weight. Judge Joe, when Judge Joe Brown was on my show, he said James <laughs> Brown was no. running up and down Sharpton. Yeah, Judge Brown, Judge Joe Brown said on my show. Judge Joe Brown, nigga said. Judge Joe Brown said what? James Brown was fucking Al Sharpton. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> go look that shit up. Judge really Judge said that Joe shit. So, <laughs> but think about what James Brown do. It's the password song. Uh, hey, that's go. a gay he sound. He did have a song that said. Hey, hey, that's boy. gay shit. Oh. Yeah, James Brown had a song that said, "Come here quick and give me that licking stick." But if that's the Is case, that what he said? He's ignoring me. Look if that's Steve. the case, then you know how he just how he just said he look, used to look at pictures of Marvin Gaye. I got the feeling. Ah. See how he's trying to over. He doesn't want to hear it. Uh, what? Baby, what you, baby, let yeah. D say no, her little theory. Oh no! Oh no! You ain't got no. No, my theory is very close to yours. So if it existed, then we can use it on you. Because if you look at pictures of Marvin Gaye, and you go, oh yeah, oh yeah, he's gay. So what my gay so picture? Picks. Everything, yeah. every day. I mean, which sandals do you have on today? Because <laughs> I wear sandals that make me go. Thank you. Do you see now? Do you see now where I'm going with this? Exactly. That's my point. I don't carry myself my like a bag. You don't have to. They have big, burly ones. Corey, <laughs> oh, they have big, burly gay guys. D, see D, how he said he doesn't care. You be care. around dyke bitches, but you ain't never ate pussy. That, no. You, you gonna make, let me tell you something about me. I'm a nice to, person. What does nice have to be but being it ain't hard. But you, it ain't hard but you look at, to really dig go. and See find out what it is. That's his tactic. The loud over speaking stuff just yeah. so that he can avoid all D, that. D, it's not hard to find out. I never put effort into it. Don't make me find these old bitches that's done <laughs> and don't give a fuck about telling what it is. Oh, I don't care done. about people that <laughs> talk like that because I don't believe any stuff people have to say anyway. You go on when you know a person. Ooh, so you're going to sit there and say you actually really think, knowing me all these years, that that's my get down. That I've ever done that. Let really. Me you, and me, honestly, tell me. I don't know about what people do. You from California. They, Haven't I always said but, people from California? But you're not getting my point. My point is... That niggas be, it's niggas out here who are mad at me today because I said something about a nigga they attracted to. But you're, and they will never give me that. They'll never I'm say, I don't use, like you because you talked about that nigga I like. No, you, but you use the silliest things to come up with your reason on somebody being a certain way. It's crazy. You saw a photo and how they posed or a certain sound in the song or a title. I mean, it's the craziest thing. Crazy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly, Koi Ree. <laughs> Corey. Corey, yeah, D. <laughs> D don't know the streets talk. I don't care. The streets can talk all they want. It did, that's the moment that Corey hears something right away. It's it ain't gone. one motherfucker. It's a whole bunch of people. When you out there living a certain life, it starts to get around. It might be bitches that's might ridiculous. say something. It might be it might be five bitches might say something about me. It must got some truth to it. If it's five bitches. And if five no. bitches got the same story about Corey, I'm not talking about bitches who know each other. I'm talking about five different sets of bitches got a story and about you, Corey. No, but you look at their background. See, the thing is, when people do that and they talk about stuff like that about people, just because you go, oh, it's a certain amount of people, it must be true. No. Who's saying it to? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, what is it about them? So you got to actually look at their background as well and say, oh, okay. You don't take Sometimes nothing people are in it for, for face money. value. You trust your instincts. I trust oh, your my instincts. Oh, instincts are so all off, it's crazy. 
Yeah, that's what a woman would say. Yeah. My instincts are woman, off. No, no. A lot my of instincts are actually that. on point like a motherfucker because I came here on a revoked license mm. and I pay bills off beans. my instincts. Somebody could say he wears anal beans. That was a sign. I mean, anybody <laughs> could say. I don't know. I'm just saying if I thought. If these anal beans, that's a real <laughs> sister nigga. I'm just saying if these I thought. Sort of if beans. I thought how kooky. Actually, this is an African If bean, I thought but. how kooky he thought, that's what I'm trying to tell you. How silly it sounds. Some of the stuff that you come up with on why you would assume or take that somebody is a okay. certain way. Just saying. Have That's you ever had sex with a man with another woman in the bed? Or another woman or another woman right there? None of I'm not I refuse to talk about a lot of my business. I think it's classless. <laughs> You can speculate all you want. I don't care. I didn't speculate. I asked you a oh, question and you didn't no, say no. Didn't. So what? Ask me any gay shit. I'm going to tell you no. Oh, of course The gayest you are. shit I ever did in my life was zip flame dress. That we know of because you told us. But, but who that's what I said. Who cares? You can say you don't believe me, but I just asked you a question you wouldn't even answer. I don't talk a lot about myself. I don't boo -boo? care. They what? You ain't never held in a boo boo. That's gay. Hell, hold it in a boo boo. Nigga, I done cleaned my oh, ass stop. with my. Why you want to what finger is this? Is this the index the finger? Is this the index finger? <laughs> I done cleaned my ass with this finger before. Did that make me now gay? Now we're going to talk about his asshole for the next 10 minutes. I done reached back there and grabbed shit out my ass before. No. Am I gay? No. <laughs> Let you tell it. I'm surprised you don't think that. Yeah. But it is gay right. if you leave exactly. your finger you in your ass. Did you if you leave your finger in your ass. If you sit in the tub with your finger in the ass. That's gay. But if you clean your ass with your finger and you remove it, you, you know what I'm saying? So you did it before too? I didn't clean my ass with my finger. I ain't never stuck my finger in my asshole. I ain't never done no shit like that. So how you clean your ass? Exactly. Would you like to rub your asshole tip? That's how you clean it, nigga? Why? <laughs> nigga, you stimulate your asshole to get it clean. <laughs> This is what really, I'm saying. You might so as well silly. come on with it, nigga. Right. It's you can't so not silly. fix it. D ain't talking about shit. D on some bullshit. Oh, please. Look, you see like, that? You see that? You seen that? Somebody say Corey. Uh, like, uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> he was he did, oh, did it like, like, he he did, he did it like three times. <laughs> okay, D. Damn, you want to roll, kid? Tonight. It's okay. Okay, D. You you roll, roll, kid. I ain't, look. It's all right, kid. Look, you got it again? All right, D. You up here by yourself. I wish it was a girl with you. Oh, boo -hoo. I don't want you, you to motherfucking feel no kind of way. But yeah, D, you go for it, sport code. Your what friends. You got? What you got? Your friends fuck with bitches. Sport code. Sport code. <laughs> <laughs> go sport fuck code. you, Craig. Let's what go. Craig say? Yeah. What's it called? Sport code. That was funny. <laughs> Sport coat. What's that? Is that another gay term? <laughs> no, that's just my saying. I always say that. You should know this by now. D, a lot of your friends straight dyke bitches, but look. Uh, I don't understand how he's in. First of all, I don't understand what the big deal is. Lately, he's just been doing that. He's taking out some kind of anger on me. I don't know what, what it because is. Because I said something about dyke bitches? No, you but you're, go you're getting on me about just things. It's so random. It's weird. You just called me Koiri. <laughs> <laughs> I was capping back because you're acting so silly. I think a lot I of I wish the tape could be seen oh, here where we go with it's thing. like, who <laughs> fuck with who first? Who fuck with who first? You Is always. Is the tape? Yes, you buy that gay thing about, oh, do you really have it? Like, he gets all into it. It's like... It's so worked up. Like, he's, he says it, he asks with passion. This is how people are trained to respond to people when you call out fags. Because this motherfuckers who won't even say fags no more. You can say so nigga, but you can't say fag. If you say fag, it make people mad. Yeah, he dude. wants to put it but on if you, that But if so I bad. say nigga all day on the show, yeah. you won't have no problems with that it. That has nothing to do with it. <laughs> in this, I'm just saying, I'll watch how it really go. In this instance, it had to do with you continually pressuring and bringing up that whole thing about D, you ain't never, you ain't never been with a woman and this and this and that. That's crazy. Like you And so it stuck with you. So then you was like coy re. Well, oh, I can get you back. What was wrong with that? I'm not mad at you, but I'm just saying you play a victim now. You are not the victim, no, D. I'm not. You hang with bitches who eat pussy from back in the day. I, first of all, I do not. <laughs> if you want to go on that, I do not hang with these. I don't know why. Maybe not now. I don't like using the D word. But I'm saying time, when you used to run them streets. Them, when you used to run them streets. I don't have close friends like that. I don't run with with people like that. First of all, I don't have any in my close circuit. One, two. Again, 
even if I know somebody that I'm friends with, I'm trying to say this whole situation here is, what is the big deal? So you're claiming you're saying, that you can't... Minute, what is the big deal if somebody is... is right, is, that is, happens to be in, in my clique, and you're thinking because somebody is hanging out with somebody or they actually know somebody, that they're getting down with that program too. That is what I believe. I believe if and you, that if is you're the a craziest man... craziest thing who, I've ever... Okay, but I believe if you're a man who hang with gay men, is something to that. But I believe if you're a what? woman who hang with gay women, is something to that. That's hanging, what I believe. Hanging as in what? I don't understand what hanging is. Like Be around them, associate with them, where people know, oh, that's what's her name, friend. So because that's somebody's friend, that makes them play like that. Like you think that because, that because they have a friend that's like that, that they have sex with them or that they do it too. I said it's something to it, but I will say this. Well, what does that mean? What does that something to it mean? If you don't understand it, I can't explain it to you. But I'm saying, what? like, with women, I will say this. Women can hang with gay women without fucking with the women. I do believe that. Oh, my God, finally. But for some reason, you're saying, not me. I get, what? Hey, <laughs> I didn't say that. That's what you said. All I said, it'd be something to it. What, what, see, so that, what is that something to it? So you are saying that because people have somebody that they know of that they can call their friend is gay makes them gay or that they played around like that, that they get down like that sexually. Mm, I'm saying Has women, what are you meaning women can what? hang with women that's gay and be like, well, I don't do what they do. That's not what Men you're can't do that. Now, what I'm saying with you, D, I don't think you will admit your shit. That's what I'm saying. That I would not. Uh, that I would not. Because I asked you flat right. out. No, but a that question. I would not lie about. And I said it. And I said you, I never have, never will, never have never been. Never have interested. what? Been with a woman or ever wanted to be. Ever. Okay. Okay. Right. But you will continue to bring that up for, like I said, all these years. And it's like, what is the reason? But then I asked you, have you ever been with a woman? Both of y'all got with a man. And that's no, and and that's nobody's business. If I did, okay. you mean like a threesome? Yeah. I don't but mean you, a threesome. I'm saying like, oh yeah, okay. If you could call it that, that's, yeah. a, that's so yeah. So I have done some things in my early earlier days, sure, but it had nothing to do with the the woman. Okay. Good for you. Yeah. Okay. And are we good now, sport coat? You're okay sport now coat. with that? I'm still in that. I love that shit. Sport coat. What is sport no, coat? No. Is that a game That's just been my, like no, it's like a, but it's an old saying. It's yeah. from like the 70s. Yeah, so you're saying. putting on this, keep, stop putting this jacket on me, nigga. That's basically what it's saying. Nigga. Is that what it is, nigga? I don't <laughs> no. know what it is. No, he's good. It's just a on silly me. thing. Like I can, <laughs> I do use a lot of different words. Like if Speaking somebody talks, okay, 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 I'll catch you, you later. You call me disco. sport coat, I'm going to call you sport throat. How about that? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's even. It's sport coat, ah. sport throat. Oh, really? <laughs> well, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Koi Ree. <laughs> she already called me Koi Ree. I am. It's cute. It's cute. CC. I'll call you CC. Okay, well, we start calling names on this motherfucker. I'm a win. Oh, is that right? If we start calling names, <laughs> I'm going to win. Because you know what happens when people do start calling names. It? No, but do we? What do you mean? When people start calling names, it's just a matter of time for somebody to get their feelings get hurt on one. When people really be calling each other names, like, okay, woof de woof de woo, okay, woof de woof de woo. Eventually yeah. somebody be like, what was it? it was on that movie with Ron Burgundy. Um, Anchor Man? Yeah. <laughs> when when she, spe she said something about his hair, he said, what did you say? But he's already done that. Corey continually does that to me. But you No, but I'm, I'm making a joke out of it. But oh. I'm saying when people call names, eventually sure. somebody say something. Touch of nerves. Sure, somebody else outside of the show, but on this show, I think we've all, everybody's done that. Well, we call each other names, but I'm telling you, there's also goodwill with this shit. Like, I don't talk to Craig crazy. I call him Craig Fags when he first started growing his hair. And whoever that barber was at first, you still got the same barber? Yeah, I still got my same barber, <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. I knew he was going to ask for that anyway. He was going to ask me to take the hat off. Anyway. No, but Craig, Craig ain't got no shame with showing his hair. Look, I, my hair, I got to get my shit cut tonight. My shit is bushed out. I got to get this shit evened out and shit. I don't give a fuck about my hair. Well, then why do you have to go tonight at right after? Why you got to have to get it in late? 
Because I got to go out of town. I got to get on a plane tomorrow morning. And you want to look a certain go way. Go to work. Uh -huh, yeah. yeah. Gotta go to work. Mm. I need a cop. I said, nigga, charge, man. I don't know. Want me to ask him if you want to hey, come? Spirit, I Real shit? Hell yeah. All right. Dewan, you want to cut? I'm you good. Man. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Want a cold cut. Ah. <laughs> 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 so here we go. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Darling, you act like I be picking on you. You talk shit to me, I talk shit to you. What the fuck? I'll be picking uh, on you. I only, you I only return. I only return. That ain't true. <laughs> that ain't true. Okay. Don't they be acting like I be motherfucking uh, out to get her. I be forgetting you here sometimes. Oh, oh, please. I do. Okay, <laughs> Disco. Okay. We be talking and then you be like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Disco. Pac-Man know it. Pac-Man know it. Okay, Disco. No, no, look, look. look. Craig, Craig laugh is what's hurting me the most because he looked like he enjoying it. <laughs> But you, did you know when somebody be laughing, like you when y'all be singing? He took one too? No, he don't. Oh, oh. oh. Ooh, took a what? No. That would have helped, Craig. If you you want a mushroom me. or something? No. <laughs> he said mushroom. He gave me an edible, man. Oh, he gave you an edible. Okay, yeah, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, give him one, please. Oh. <laughs> man, little edible wasn't shit, Craig. Low tolerance. You, you got light skin tolerance. But he did again. Say, oh. <laughs> He put it out there and shit. No, you didn't even want nobody to know you gave him an edible, did you? <laughs> Craig was like, shit, I got an edible from Duwan. <laughs> <laughs> he still, don't do no real drugs with this nigga, he gonna tell. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't be shit if I did real drugs. Yeah, Ooh, you really? cannot smoke cocaine, nigga. You was yeah. all of them. Pablo Escobar's reserve <laughs> in one <laughs> snoop, nigga. With that big ass uh, nose. Don't ever smoke, Carol. Nigga, no. Nah, I won't do it. I won't do it, man. Yeah. You cocaine? Never, you ain't never did. No, the only, only marijuana is the only thing I would ever do. Oh, I tried Adam, a lot of stuff younger. Smoke. Everybody claim marijuana. They don't never talk about the other shit they did or oh, let a yeah. bitch talk them into doing. You didn't let a bitch talk them into doing. Right. Huh? You ever ate edible? I think I ate a brownie. Oh, okay. But I, I couldn't do it no more because I, I never did the shit and it had me too fucked up. Right. Mm -hmm. Me and Rodney Perry. Back during the foxhole days, yeah, yeah, we didn't yeah. know we ate brownies. Oh, man. See, they didn't know how to microdose and all that back then. No, well, yeah, well, back then it was just they nigga, just eat, eat all, until you get high. Right. You get fucked up back mm -hmm. then. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah no. So now it's different. What is I a microdose? What is it, D? The drug term? You know? it. So you just it's it's properly how you take it. it depending on you said it was ten milligrams. So yeah, see, it all depends on what it, the edible is. Because my son's girl, that's what she does. She's like one of the number one edible. You don't makers. eat edible. I got a whole bag for Christmas, but I haven't, I haven't done it, no. So I mean, you've never they, eaten an edible? No. But I've tried everything else. Remember I told you back in the day when I was younger, I've done acid, I've done, yeah, I've tried everything. You did cocaine? No, never cocaine. That's as far as I went. I did like, I did acid, the little, the little piece of paper, yep, little, it was a piece of paper and everything was soaked in Who was you with when you did acid? We did it before school. Matter of fact, I went and visited my best friend. <laughs> yeah, I went and visited see, my I best friend. I didn't know you did acid. I used to think you was just... Shut fuck it with me. Your brain fucked oh, up. Oh, shut up. I tried I'm it. not even mad at D no brain. more. Oh, stop. Stop. D, this is your brain on drugs. Well, you I'm glad the I got close to his mom because she did tell me she dropped you a few times. So we know what happened to his head. <laughs> so we know that. I ain't think about you, D. Exactly. Uh -huh. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to get to a part of the show that is anticipated um, as it will be. Um, <laughs> A show, a part of the show that will never have a sponsor. These loose talk about bullshit. Yeah. Oh, Craig is on slow mo with the uh, with the uh, a sport coat Boy. is a man that sleeps with women while her man is locked up. A sport coat is a man that sleeps it's with a woman. It's a word that's cute. I just call people all while kinds of her words. man is locked up. I don't understand that. How does that say that? A sport coat. Oh, they took it They're off. messing with you. They know you're so gullible like that. Oh no. Yeah. I'm gullible. Like that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> I'll be holding shit back, boy. Okay, hold it. Lady? Me too. I know. I can't wait. 2021 going to be the year. Okay, D, go on with that bullshit. Uh -huh. you know. <laughs> All right, so Kenya Barris. Uh, so, you know, no one's really exempt from having family trip on you. You know, bad, 
stuff happening with family. Mm -hmm. And Kenya is no exception. Poor guy. Well, not Who's poor Kenya? at all. Kenya Barris. Who's creator that? of Blackish, all the other yep. spinoffs. Oh, okay, had that his brother. Own successful, Brilliant writer. Probably Brill worth mm. about, yeah. Brilliant writer. Very good, very good. Uh, anyway, so yeah, creator of all those um, uh, Blackish and all the spinoffs with it. Anyway, um, so he's having to go as far as restraining, getting a restraining order on his sister, Colette Barris. Um, he asked the judge for the request because he said that he fears that she's going to harm his children in one way or another. Mm. Um, the court documents say that he claims she's piggybacking off of his name and their f uh, familial relationship to hook herself up with opportunities in Hollywood. He says that after many failed attempts to get her own projects off the ground uh, and because he refused to help her, that um, she's, uh, how you say... I guess she's um, kind of warning. Bless you. God bless you, Niall. She's saying that if, if she gave him a threat, if you don't help me out with this current project, that I guess making a movie out of the book that she wrote, because she's a teacher and I think she wrote a book, but apparently all these ventures that she's been trying to kick off in Hollywood, she got, how you say, the connections to even have these meetings because of him. So even in the beginning, all these people admitted the only reason we even said, okay, we'll listen to her, take her, her um, meeting is because, again, she threw the name. Like, look, that's my brother, blah, blah, blah. So now he pulled the plug on all that, and she's threatening him, saying that um, it's a, he's alleging that she said, sent him a legal letter saying that he must fund this project movie of hers that has to do with their family book and story, uh, for four million based on her novel and if he doesn't she's gonna go public now I don't know what that threat means I guess stuff that she knows or what have you but for booty shit? super wrong I don't know but I mean I'm just saying anytime <laughs> somebody says that you just never know I mean can you can imagine if you had a family member that said Corey you need to do this for me I got me, or one my little sister they no. always talking shit about me. That bitch was in the county. My homies who worked for the Cook County, they Cook County but Sheriffs. She running her mouth? They was like, it's a bitch in here talking shit about you. Say she your sister. Oh. Her name, whoop de woo I was like, yeah, that's that funky bitch. Make sure she <laughs> have a hard time in there. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm -mm. <laughs> oh, bless. So but anyway, he got, he got a restraining order against her. Well, you know, it's like your family is not exempt from the haters. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Your family will extort you oh, and exploit you just as quick as anybody else will. Man. Sometimes quicker. They be feeling like because y'all share the same blood, y'all somehow share the same talent, and you don't. Mm -mm. Yeah. They will feel entitled because you got somewhere, they'll feel some kind of way. The family see you how they met you when you, when, wherever age they met you. If they saw you born, they see you that way. And right. You know what I mean? They don't he, see you as the professional that you are. And he claims that she insisted, insist that he help all the other family members and, and, you know, give them cash or what have you, different things. There's different things that he's saying that she, but he's claiming that he's afraid she'll take his, her anger out against him and his six children. So. Wait, wait. Well, anyway, it don't matter. It's like, it's nothing. This is not something new. Mm. I don't fuck with so many. Man, look, I don't care if you my family. If you are perpetrating detrimental shit in my area, mm. I'm gonna get the fuck away from him. Yeah. And that's what he has done with the sister. So she started to get, I guess, fearful that, uh-oh, that, that's going away. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because he had already, you know, kind of push, pushed her away. So she's like feeling the threat and not liking it because that's it. My that brothers and sisters um, got my back, but I'm saying it's one. And she a funky bitch. This bitch identity theft my other sister. This a no good, ain't shit bitch. Mm. And her and her seeds are as well. Damn. Oof. Damn. Her son, he getting older now. He probably about 19 now. Mm. I think he said some slick shit to me, and he a big nigga now. Mm -hmm. But when I see him, I'm gonna be like, so what was that shit you said? Cause I'm I'm like. This nigga done said some scandalous shit, just like my sister say scandalous shit to family members and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? He a, he a wild little boy. Mm -hmm. Like one of the motherfuckers you heard about, he got shot. You would be like, yep, somebody got him. Mm -hmm. Damn. You know what I'm saying? We know who we talk. We all, this, we all know that one. It's just people be scared to say that. You got yeah. family members, when something happened to them, 
You don't be shocked. You be like, yeah. somebody got him, huh? Yeah. yeah. What the fuck did they do? Man. If something happened to my sister, I'd be like, she ran into the wrong motherfucker, huh? Mm. Mm -hmm. I won't be like she a victim. I'm talking yeah. about my scandalous sister. I got, I got another sister. She, her head is on halfway decent, like the rest of us. We all on halfway decent. Most of us are fucking crazy. Man, yeah. I'm saying, that's, but yeah, that's true. We ain't out to hurt each other like that. Right. But I got one sister that's out to hurt any motherfucker. Some people just evil. Yeah, and that person that's happened to be in your family from time to time. Hey, mm -hmm. you stay away. You just gotta stay away because look, it's family, but look, it's friends out there who gonna have your back way more than family will. So all that blood shit. You got good people, like you said, you got good people that try to do the best they can do, live their life, go fuck up from time to time. And then you got people out here that just born to cause confusion. Mm -hmm. And you see it. There's some people who like, you. everything will be peaceful. And we always know that one, if it can be calm, no, no issues, no drama, we can point to the motherfucker who gonna start it. That's just who the fuck they are. When you identify them, it's on you to stay the fuck away from well, them. And that, not only that, it, how about you want to go and participate, say, in your, the rest of the family, but that other family continually invites this person. It's like, what are you guys doing? Like, you know that it's going to end in drama. Yeah. You know, yeah. so they, those people, so then you, you end up, some people just end up staying away. And then yeah. they're just family all breaking up. Gooch, Gooch sent me this shit. Sport coat. A guy who is screwing your girl while you are away, especially in prison. So I'm a sport coat D. Uh, to me, sport coat is a cute word that I used to hear people using, and I thought it was funny. Like, I use a lot of words with people. Like I just said, when he was laughing, I was like, oh, stop, disco. Like, I do that all the time. So I didn't know that it actually had a, and that's the urban dictionary meaning. Is it? Okay. Well, I don't know. I'm just trying to figure yeah. out. I was, it's just a sport word. Sport code. Said, I didn't know what that was. I was taking like, it so literally. It's like, no, I Well, now that I know what it is, I ain't tripping no more. I don't, oh, but it's not that. I didn't even. Didn't, I don't like fucking niggas, girl, while they're in prison. I, wait, I fuck them while they out. <laughs> That's the right way to do the wrong thing. Right, thing. nigga. I'm a winter coat, nigga. Oh, brother. Everybody's taking things. Honorable oh. side, nigga. That's good. Honorable side. Honorable. Man. That's honor right there. Dignity. Silly. People just have way too much time on their hands. So, but no, but I'm saying, like, what if, what if they ain't married? What if it's your homeboy side girl and she want to give you some pussy? You supposed to fuck her? Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on who the homie is. That's what I say. But I really don't like fucking with the homies, sisters, and families, and girlfriends. Yeah, no, I don't fuck with the homies. Niggas family. be hurt when you fuck a family member. Yeah. Yeah. Side bitch for everybody. That ain't nobody, bitch. That's everybody, bitch. I agree. Yeah. Shit. Your side bitch, shit. It's just a matter of time for your side bitch to come home and be like, I got a new guy. Fuck you. Right. <laughs> you be like, bitch, I expected that. That's why you the side bitch. Hey. <laughs> That's why you want to. I see you in six months. <laughs> right. It's, right. Just it's just new. It's just new. Right. It ain't going to last. Right. Do he know who you are? <laughs> or when he find out who you are, you will be back. <laughs> so, um... A lot of people are talking about the possible fight. They're not sure if it actually happened, but people are just weighing in and giving their opinion because Amanda Nunez has come out in the last two days and said that she'll fight um, Jake Paul. Because, like, Jake Paul is still trying to get his fight with uh, McGregor, and they're yeah. like, not going to happen. And then she, everybody's like, everybody was saying all these names, and then they sent her a mess. Somebody sent her a, a tweet and said, you know, this, look at this guy. Like, this person that's said- That's gotta be a joke, though, right? No. She, she a woman, she'll get knocked the fuck out. But here, that's what I was gonna say. What's your take? Because a lot of people are like, well, if she wants to do it, let her do it. They ain't gonna let her do it, because let me tell you something. She said- They not gonna let that man beat that bitch ass in front of the nation. <laughs> but he did say- And I am a man, you knew, I'm a man, you knew, I'm a man, yes, fan. Yes. fan. I be yeah. rooting for her, because she beat the shit out of all the bitches. Right. She beat all the bitches that mm -hmm. she fight. But you can't fight no man. You'll find out. This ain't no motherfucking world is fair or equal. You a moments. woman. You got yeah. a pussy. If you, yeah. if you got a pussy and you be the man, you deserve, you shouldn't have to pay taxes ever again. <laughs> if you got a pussy and you right. whoop a man, yeah. you should not have to pay taxes. Can she whoop you? Who, Nunez? Yeah. I'll beat the shit out of her. <laughs> I'm going to rip her shorts off just to show her. Bitch, don't fuck with me. I'll fuck you, bitch. <laughs> oh, my God. This ain't no motherfucking joke, nigga. Yeah, but everybody was Is playing. Is it going to be boxing style or MMA style? As my nigga well, Devin said, 
show you show them what they pussy made for. <laughs> no, the fact Nigga, that she even mentioned bitch it. would challenge me to right. a fight. I'd take he your clothes no. off in front of your kids, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> no, he, he said, nah. He was like, I'm still trying to wait for that McGregor. There's one bitch I know could whoop you. Who? Oh. Ann Wolf will beat your motherfucking Who's ass. Who's Ann Wolf? Oh, that boxer. Ann Wolf, nigga. She was that big no, no, she was a cyborg boxer. one. Big burly bitch. She built like How you. big is she? I think I seen who you said about. Was she James Kirkman? She about your size, nigga. Ain't no bitch my size the gonna whoop me, nigga. about your size, nigga. Look, it's bitches out here my <laughs> size that outrun me. It's bitches out, out here my size that can outswim me. But if we get into a fight, I'm going to show you what your pussy made for. Oh, <laughs> Don't fight me, bitch. This bitch got hands, bro. I could take pussy if I want to. I'm here to tell you. Ain't no leg locking you can come up with. I know how to hit ribs until you give in. Yeah. Hit, hit, hit. Okay, okay. Hit. You want to know? Well, <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> the kids, the ribs. When they get a motherfucker, the ribs. <laughs> the ribs. The rib, bitches, they, they be like, just don't do that no more. All right, well, open up then. Got time to be playing with you today, bitch. Your money on the dress, I'm gone. <laughs> Yeah, no, of course. I don't think it's going to happen. But people were just giving their weighing in just to see what they'd say on it. No, I don't think it's going to happen. No, I saw a big bitch in MMA. She was about 6'5". The white bitch? Yeah, yeah. looked like a monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she was like Greg Ossetag. That was you want me to tell bitch. you why she might win? Because I don't want that pussy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want that pussy. I don't want no 6'5", bitch, leg, spread, eagle. Yeah, that shit must be. 6'5", bitch? Yeah. Who was a 6'5 bitch like Brittany Griner? I couldn't fuck yeah, her. Yeah, no, 6'8. No. That bitch could be Brittany naked. Damn, she's that tall. With that pussy cracked that. open. Yeah. I'll be like, if you don't get your own steroid Ronald McDonald looking ass <laughs> the fuck up out of here. <laughs> Man. 6'8 like bitch, that's too big. That's, that's, that's a nigga leg. Yeah, she yeah. Is. That's a nigga foot. Yo, What's, yeah, what size that, that shoe is? She said she probably a 13, 14 Boy, in, no in men. So she's like a 90 in women. Right. And her voice. <laughs> <laughs> it was this chick that went to church with us when we was kids. She was six one. We used to call her Grandma Shack, and cause Grandma she had like, cause she had the longest <laughs> fucking heels. Like them heels were like matching mountain rides. And you know when you in church and the, the nigga preaching, all you got time is for the joke. She was Bitch, if you one. wear a twelve or more, you ain't got no business with heels on. <laughs> hey, them heels are long. You need <laughs> UGG boots when you get dressed up, bitch. You Ooh, can't wear heels. If you're a woman who wear a size twelve or bigger, heels look ridiculous. Right. Can you imagine if you lose your heels, like, like let's say you go bowling it and you forget your heels, <laughs> they ain't gonna give your heels back. <laughs> <laughs> them got the bowling socks. Or right. Them motherfuckers going to be out there getting bowling balls at the thing. With the <laughs> <laughs> bowling balls. Right. <laughs> bitch, your heel is 12 inches. Man. You can fight with your foot, bitch. <laughs> bitch, get that, G that Jim Kelly kick. <laughs> Remember that movie them back in the day? And he was like, oh. <laughs> oh, that, uh, <laughs> that Kareem one, remember from the Oh, the Kareem one. one. Yeah. He was sitting down with a bar. Mm -hmm. Right. That nigga was sitting down and die. He was whooping Bruce Lee's ass. That big ass chair. footprint on his chest. Fucking him up. Mm. <laughs> you can't do spread eagle, I tell you that much, boy. You Man. can't have that foot hanging out there and it's over a 12. Yeah, no, no, no. Oh, shit. <laughs> what if his hair on the top of the foot, too? You'll be, oh, shit, I done <laughs> fucked up, nigga. That's how it was. He just showed me a picture of some lady named Ann Wolf. I'll take that pussy. And, but wasn't she James Kirkland's trainer? Yeah. Who's it's James Kirkland? A, a box. He, 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 he got knocked out last night. But when he, when he was That's actually good. What you think going to happen if a bitch trained But think you don't just think. Anytime she did train him, he got his ass beat. But every, the fights that she was training him, the nigga was win. What? Yeah, that shit would be weird as fuck. When Ann Wolf would train him, James Kirkland be beating at people's asses. But then. I believe that Canelo, woman is in shape. I believe that woman got more win than me. But you pinch her nipples. Oh God! <laughs> do something. Do something. You won't get me this pussy, bitch. I'm gonna get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That made boxing rules. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, all right then. Oh God! Don't fucking move. Let this happen. Oh. You fucking move. 
Oh shit! You want another one? <laughs> you want another one? It's funny as a motherfucker. Yeah. If a bitch rape you, would would you would you let people know? Or would How you? can a woman rape me? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, a bitch. It's Both possible. Of them are what you gonna do? And have you? another bitch hold a gun to your head? Oh lord! Then what they gonna do? How am I get raped? I mean, I don't know. Men are not capable of getting raped by women. You get some pussy. That's all. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I didn't want it, but shit, you, you have right. right. you, nigga. Bitch might give you the claps. Like on that movie. What was that movie with Denzel? <laughs> oh, with Denzel. Oh, oh, shit. That's the one Ricochet. you was in, right? Uh -huh. Ricochet. You said the claps. Even though you don't want to huh? fuck a bitch. Like, he didn't want to, but they you got a dick. Your up. dick can get hard. If a bitch slap you while you tied up, your dick can get hard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck if she slap you. Pow. You'll be like, go sit on this dick, bitch, before you kill me. Hey, what if Wendy Williams did that to you and you woke oh, up? What would oh, you do? I don't think I could fuck Wendy Williams. <laughs> I don't think I <laughs> no could. No matter what. I, I don't think I could do it. Yes. Yeah, yeah. No. I don't think I could do it. Yeah. I seen them knees. How you, how you hit Hope Flub, but you wouldn't? <laughs> oh, come on. Why you put Hope? Hope, <laughs> that's Craig. That's Craig says some on, fucked Craig. up shit. I ain't never been with Hope come Flood, on, baby. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't shit. Hope, get that nigga. Hope lost weight. She look good. Hey, Hope, Hope looking good right now. She, yeah, she, she looking good for herself and happy and shit. That was Craig, Hope. Oh, get that oh, nigga. Get <laughs> Corey telling all y'all business. <laughs> <laughs> I, done fuck, I done fucked a couple of female comics that I be like, God damn. They, they all be drama. They all be drama. They mad because you take other bitches on the road. <laughs> it's like female comics is the worst thing to fuck. Which ones that have you hit? I can't tell on them. It'll impact their career. Because oh. people believe in them and think they good people. Oh. But they bitches <laughs> with pussies. Yeah. And I'm a nigga with opportunity. Yeah. A female comic ain't got shit going for her, gonna give me that pussy. What? Right. Mm. Yeah. I can't fuck uh, 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 like a female comic that got shit going on. That bitch be like, fuck you, Corey. I'll be like, I expect that. <laughs> but your cousin is struggling. Oh, your cousin. I'm gonna get her. I'm gonna get her. You can hate on me before I get over there. <laughs> that bitch go go, nigga. All bitches in poverty are at my whim. <laughs> Somebody said, Corey hit Lunell. Fuck you, nigga. Oh, oh hell. Voodoo, fuck you, nigga. <laughs> Corey Turn, it's a full moon. It is. I don't get that. Oh, they talk about my hair? <laughs> <laughs> I know it's getting late, 10 30. I know you have to go get your hair cut. What time is it? 10 30. You bullshit. Nope. Damn. I don't know. Well, anyway, last but not least, I want um, to say ahead, uh, so no express. What did you just say? I, I said, go ahead. I didn't say nothing slick. I heard it. I caught it. Don't worry. Again, like you always say, we'll watch it. Well, I said, um, this bitch. Yeah, that's that bitch. Yeah, yeah. That's cyborg. A, no, Cyborg Little. That? This bitch about 6'5". That's six, a monster five. bitch right there. Didn't Ann knock her out? No, ain't nobody. Oh, won't nobody know. fight her. She too big. That's not even like right. She's got to be in, in, in fight men. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Let me show you. And Wolf knocked out a big bitch like that. Nah, ain't nobody fought this bitch. Well, this are. bitch too big. Anyway, I just want to uh, give my condolences to John Fletcher's family, a.k.a. Ecstasy, of the group Houdini. Rest Ladini. in peace. Rest in peace. He was only 56. Damn. Rest in peace, brother. Legendary group. Yeah. Motherfucker, you make a song so cold, motherfuckers never forget it. A song yeah. called Friend. Mm -hmm. How many of us have them? Friends. Oh. We can depend, depend on, on. Then again, friends. Dun, 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 dun. How many of us have them? Friends. A friend is a bitch that lets you sit on her face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's it. I Somebody was gonna say I was too. gonna say freaks at night, but then this one. Oh, oh the freaks come out at night. That was another. That was another classic. Yeah. The freaks come out. The freaks come out. Yeah, yeah. That was the shit back in the day. <laughs> He be acting like I be fucking with her. You made me feel bad, D. I don't oh, be fucking with her. Nigga, what? <laughs> what is that? I didn't know he was capable of that. That's the big bitch like her to Ann Yeah, but look how out. short she is. She it's still was able to. Oh, yeah. Well, that bitch, that Good big bitch that I got the picture from, yeah. that bitch That's is amazing. not look regular. Look how, how much shorter she is. She's not that. regular. She actually looked like she a steroid bitch. Her reach must be incredible because that's look how small she is to, compared to her. 
Yeah. That might be a nigga. Bro. That's incredible. It looked like a no, bitch. No, because they the do all that. They real. do all that checking and stuff like that. They have to prove it. She's she's. What they check the pussies before they let them fight? Okay. Sure. Nowadays, nowadays. I want that job. <laughs> I want that job right before the fight. Right, you know how to put the grease on the face? Like, Come here. Oh, yeah, this a bitch. Got it. Yeah. This bitch work out and don't bathe. Oh, yeah, I think I saw this fight. This bitch hit hard as a motherfucker, G. Yeah. What did that sound? Somebody the cameras? Oh, you guys turn the cameras on. There's somebody walking by. There's somebody outside and shit. Anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, I want y'all to know that we are going into oh another year. Yeah. I won't see y'all till next motherfucking year. Yeah. This is a cold, cold time in America. They are basically rubbing it in our face how they have a new strand of this COVID shit. Yeah. And like, I got to take a flight tomorrow. And I take it seriously when I get on these planes now, I really wrap up now. Cause I understand we suck in the same air for hours. So I make it where it's hard for shit to come through my mouth and even come through my eyes. I got a mask for all that shit. I'm bringing all this shit up to say, man, y'all take care of yourselves, man. This COVID shit, some people get it, they find a way to recover. But there's a lot of people who get it and they be out of here. You just never know. Yeah. yeah. They be out of here. Yeah, they do. Rest in peace. I had two neighbors. Yeah. yeah I, neighbors. I mean, it's like it's, yeah. it's happening so much. I can't keep talking about all the people that I found out who are just passed. Mm -hmm. I walked in on a dead tenant like about a month ago. Just gone. Yeah. I got another one that's struggling. Every time I, I, I be checking on him because he old. And it's like, you know, you talk yeah. to him. It's like every day I, I wake up, I be like, man. I ain't trying to walk on walk in on two in the same month. You know what I mean? Did you, ever, did you go through dude pocket? Oh <laughs> my god! Shit, man, this shit fucked up, man. Oh that my god! I'm just saying that ambulance niggas gonna if do I it if you don't do it. I, but this is a cold part about it. Like when they, when the police came and everything, they we notified the first, the family and everything. They said, yeah, we gonna clean everything out. We gonna straighten it up. Then it, it'll be cool. Man, I walked up in that motherfucker. They raided all his drawers. I mean, you just close on the pocket, clothes on the floor pockets. They're like, okay, yeah, we done. Yeah. Left everything. And didn't even didn't even get a motherfucker a funeral. No. It was like, nigga, we good. How you get them out of there? The uh they they called the the, the coroner had to come. They came on their own? Huh? The coroner? Yeah, it, it like the, like later on like that night, yeah. So like, no, no, police called him. Police called him to come on down because the yeah. family was like, nigga, he ain't got no insurance and we right. ain't paying for it. Right. So nobody showed up. So nobody yeah. showed up, but his whole house was like raided and shit. Ransacked like, by the cops. No, no, by the cops, no by the family. Oh, by the family? All his pants had the pockets for the little shit coming out like that. Oh, my And then God. they were like, yeah, we're, we're done. We're going to take everything. Y'all yeah, took the niggas' money. Because you oh. know all old niggas got money. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's sad, That's man. Seeing that shit. That. Common. Common. But mm. I'm the bad guy. And them type of people that'll be watching the show like, see what he's saying, yeah. dude? Bitch, you just went through your family pocket when he died. Yeah, went through your family <laughs> pocket. But then want to say something about an abortion joke. If you don't right. sit your clown ass down. Mm. Right. Somebody said spray Lysol. I um, they won't let me take my can of Lysol on oh, the plane. Oh, it's yeah. Yeah. Um, but I I take this um, that disinfectant shit and I just rub down my hands. Mm -hmm. Then I put on these gloves and I wipe down this part of the seat where your hand be yeah. and shit. And I wipe down that little computer screen where you touch it. Because mm -hmm. I know motherfuckers be sick on the plane because I was one of them. Mm -hmm. And then that whole recirculating you can be of that air. Yeah, you're right. Traveling. If, you, if they're not going to give up money giving $600, people going to go. They got to they, Niggas got to work. Niggas going to do what they got to do. They got to do what they got to do. If you ain't going to shut the country, you're going to shut the country down and put bread in people's pockets. But if you ain't going to do that, that's just the risk. You know, that's what's going to happen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, it's going to be New Year, man. And y'all yeah. motherfuckers... Be careful out there in them streets, man. You know, yeah. it's like you get sick. You don't know, you don't know what COVID feel like till you got it. And I'm saying, when I say COVID, I'm saying, whatever this shit is out here, that antibiotics ain't helping. <laughs> you think it. Yeah. You do not want to go through that three weeks of hell. Because that's about how long it lasts. If you healthy enough to get rid of this shit. Some motherfuckers don't make it through the shit, I'm telling you. Motherfuckers just fall asleep and they sleep. Be like, fuck it, I'm gone. <laughs> don't let my family over here. Nigga, y'all go through my shit. I know y'all. <laughs> That's fucked up. But yeah, um, 
Now, we made it through another year with this motherfucking 5150 shit. Yeah, thank um, God, thank God. Entanglement, kid, so you clean and shit. <laughs> Y'all motherfuckers get some of them entanglement kits. I got new t-shirts coming out at the beginning of the year. Anybody want to plug something? Yeah, man, my Patreon. I got some dope footage I'm going to be putting on there soon. The Craig Smith, the website, The Craig Smith. And, uh, yeah, check out check out the website by the merch. There it is. That's right. Hotepish.com. Intelligent ish talk. Intelligent shit talk. <laughs> Go to the website. That's how you find all my social media. Hotepish.com. Mm-hmm. That's hilarious. All right. Do you want? To oh, her? yes, of course. Uh, of course, the restaurant will be open Saturday, uh, Thursday, half day, I think. No, all day, six o'clock. I won't be there. But I will be there Saturday, Sunday, so come through 1066 South Fairfax Avenue, Soul Delicious. Come through, get your black eyed peas, of course. It's the new year. Um, I brought you guys something in case anybody wants to take those smothered turkey legs and wings in the back. Shit that didn't uh, sell. No, I brought it home. Oh. Everything's sold out. On, come Sunday night, it's like a bang near empty. Uh, anyway, fun. also um, check me out on Cameo uh, at DarleneOGOrtiz.com or DarleneOrtiz.com at my new store. I see you, Owen Pope. We're going to do that. I know that people want to just give. Some people are so generous, they want to just actually give you, know, you money to the show or send stuff. Look, if you want, just go on there and, and buy something cool. You know what I'm saying? At least you'll get something that you can keep. I appreciate those that are reaching out and sending money out of nowhere. That's just incredible. But I'd rather have you at least end up with something nice you can hold on to and keep. So I appreciate everything. Thank you. Okay. All right, child. So we're going we gonna, we gonna to wrap this show up this time because we had technical issues with the fucking shit getting reined in. But um, <laughs> y'all know what it is, man. 5150, we're going to have a whole new format next year. We're going to start... Doing shit without the desk. We're going to be standing up and shit. All right. Why not? Talking shit. You know, trying different mm-hmm. ways and shit. So, y'all motherfuckers be safe. This. Take care of yourself. Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night. Don't come in contact with a lot of motherfuckers. All right. Peace out, y'all. We up. Peace. Happy New Year, yeah. everybody.